M0FXB ICOM705. So they brought out another firmware update already, 1.31, and we only had 1.30 a couple of days ago. So let's just show you what this includes and then follow the rest of the video to see how to install it. Improved that the RX pop-up in the DV mode does not automatically disappear when you open or close the multi-function menu. So it's a small little bug they've improved. M0 FXP Digital Ham Radio Diary, welcome. M0 FXP, welcome to my channel. So it looks like ICOM have got a new firmware out, the version 1.30. So quite a long list here of uh, things that have been improved. Displays the receiving or transmitting route of RF terminal mode. RX history, GPS position, receive screen, QSO audio plays and so on and so on. So I think it's worth doing. So what we're going to do is here's the link which is in the description. We're going to download it like so. Now I've already taken the SD card out and put it into my computer. So here on the left is my SD card. I've got quite a lot on it, haven't I? <laughs> um, so, um, well, see that one there, 705E127, that's the last one that I had. So here's the, the zip, let's, let's just double click it, and what the file that we're actually interested in is actually this one here, this 705E130. So we're just gonna drag that across into my SD card, and then hopefully, when I put that in my machine, I'll be able to just uh, select firmware and then update the firmware. It's possible I've got to move it up, but I don't think so. I think where it is, it'll still see it. We'll see we're going to find out. So we're over to the next part of the video. So here we are at the radio. We've put the SD card in. Remember, the SD card, the gold part faces you, so go easy with that. So you do need to have a power supply into your radio you see there we've got a power supply going in no problem so we're just going to go menu set then go down to sd card tap the screen and we want firmware update the top one here just select that oh it's quite bright isn't it then just scroll down yes agree to everything above click yes and it will say it save all the settings on the on your radio for you automatically thank you very much very sensible then see the two firmwares, well the new one is the 130, so we're going to select that. Do you want to start updating? Yes. And I've got a feeling you have to hold down your finger on the yes. Okay, checking the file is good. Updating the main CPU firmware, please wait for 21 seconds. So that's it. Just let that run through. And yeah, it's been a while since there's been a firmware update on this. It's still my favourite radio. I've just got myself the Yesu 710, which I really like. But this, you know, the 7, uh, 705 has is, is always been my favourite radio. It really has. So, converting the setting data takes up to 30 seconds. Now, this is longer than it used to be. So, I got a feeling, I got a feeling, this is all to do with the new 905, why they've done this. But, you know, I'm just guessing, of course, there's my little logo what version 130 and 100% power blah 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 i wonder if it's kept my memory channels or if i have to restore them um memo yeah it looks like my memory channels are all there so i'm not really sure i did say something about a new um dps menu and other things but anyway everything looks fine so that's it that's your firmware thanks for watching my channel 73 all the best